sustained 60 to 80 click winds here today on the farm. That is something else. Tops blowing all over the place. Just wasting my time putting them back on. So I think I'll have to wait until the, the wind has passed. Over the last few days, we got 90 millimeters of rain. So that's nearly four inches and all come within an inch and a half at a time. It's just perfect. So that desperate need for moisture has been satisfied. All of a sudden the grass is growing. All of a sudden the canola threw up two leaves and almost is making ground cover. Everything just looks so much better now. Whew. That was a very timely rain. Just I have to get through now and I haven't got my reducers off yet. It's gonna be 30 degrees for the next week and these colonies are growing. I won't pop any lids, but I'll just show you what's happening at the fronts here. They're, they're full. These hives have been split down and I'm just waiting for that bounce back before I go through and equalize. <clears throat> we got through six yards now. Everything is just pretty much perfectly on the right on the mark. But there's, after the split, you know, when I take that split away, give them that space back. I call it my bounce back effect. It's, uh, that space they have, all that brood, and either they fill it right back up or they kind of stall because I took too much from them. So I'm just going through and I'm taking from the ones that have filled it right up, maybe one or two frames of brood, and dropping it into the hives that maybe look like they stalled a little bit. Just to even things out. Just to even things out. But take a look at this. that one back, see if anything's going on. That is <clears throat> southern exposure. We don't usually get southern winds like this, and that's bringing up the all this hot, humid air. I suppose none of my yards are protected from the south because typically we get it from the north northwest. Get that cold northern front come down on us, but prevailing wind is west northwest. These south southern winds just absolutely crazy. So it looks like the colonies, like they look bearded, you know, they look full. The first thing I think is swarming, but they're just wanting out. This low pressure is just, you know, making them a bit cranky. The top box, you know, poked down, looked in there. 
they're up there but they haven't overly filled it up tipping back the colonies they're gonna need some feed so if this wind doesn't subside well, we can't feed in the wind with pails so this wind's got to bugger off lordy lordy <laughs> 